there. Today we're gonna do a little spring floral bouquet. And we're going to do them, um, I think in mostly pinks and a beautiful citrus green. Uh, first, I'm going to create a background and I'm simply gonna throw in, this is some um, pink sherbet and a whole bunch of alcohol, thin it out. This is on Nara paper. I'm not exactly sure what size, but it's kind of small for me. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And um, we're gonna be using some of that color in there. And let's just start with, this is the citrus green. I don't know if I wanna do that for the vase, but let's lay down some citrus up here. And then I'm gonna take my spatula, just kind of rub it in. This will be sort of a background to it. Just wanna be really unfussy. Okay, now um, for the flowers, you know what I might wanna do? It's kinda of pretty up here, I like that. Um, I think I might want to do a little more of this in here. Maybe make this like a green, flower in itself. And I like using these bulb blowers for these, especially in smaller spaces like this, because it creates all of this interesting sort of design. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave that. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of raspberry, I think, up here which is a really vibrant color, but it dries quite differently than what it looks like going on. Just adding a little bit of alcohol to that and see what it does. I'll lift this, I don't want it to go too far. I'm just gonna help it develop into something with this brush. And I like that the blend here with the green. Okay, so I don't want it to go too far into the green though. See what happens there. Okay. And then, um, keeping my eye on that guy, uh, maybe some more pink sherbet. Do some pink sherbet here. I'm gonna make this one look like it's kind of a, one of those sort of tube flowers and run a bead of alcohol along this edge. I'm helping it along a little bit. Okay, that's turning out really pretty. Uh, so now I've got, let's do, I 
the shell pink. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that in here and then blow it in, creating more of a petal. And I think what I'm gonna do is I have some uh, wild plum in here and I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol, move this out of the way. And then I'm gonna take my brush, which has a nice, oops, point to it. I'm gonna start adding um, I don't know, kind of a hollyhock thing here. I'm coming at it at kind of a strange angle. <clears throat> okay. Um, and I'm going to add some green up there in a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just alcohol directly onto my brush, and then I'm going to create A little bit more dimension to these flowers. I think what I'm gonna have to do is scoot this around so they can see that. And this will define these flyer flyer flyers flowers a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep adding alcohol directly onto this brush. And I like the, uh, I like it when the colors blend. Kind of gives it a watercolor sort of feel. I want the flowers to feel like they're layering on top of each other, like a hollyhock out in your garden would be doing. Okay. You're gonna see areas that you're gonna to wanna to fine tune as you go along. But oh, that's a start. Okay, so now here I'm going to I'm just, 
slow this out a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> that's pretty, that's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add, what I like to do with my bouquets is I kind of go around the outside and then start layering on top so it feels like the bouquet is rounded and not flat or two dimensional. Um, at least that's what I hope to accomplish. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, add a little bit of this here. Maybe a little bit of this wild plum too. I'm gonna take my brush and just move this one around a little. I love this brush. I got it. It's a Ranger brush and it is fabulous. If you can find it, and I don't know, I think it came with some inks that I ordered and I just love it. Um, I'm gonna add a little alcohol to my brush. Blow it. I wasn't too pleased with that. I'm gonna add a little more petal action here. I don't want it going too far into here, but I'm gonna try to make it look multi-layered. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then add some more here. Let's see, gumball, let's try gumball. This into sort of a cone shape. And then add alcohol to the edge. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's start working on the stems. I am gonna take some of these Cali Art Markers and a couple of different kinds of greens and just start, when I'm a little off-centered, start just putting down some stems. Hopefully I can get them straight. Get 
a deeper green. What I like about these markers is they come in a broad tip and a fine tip. They're very handy. And if you let it rest on here, it will create kind of a blend. And the zero markers are just alcohol. So you can use them as a blending tool as well. And I think I'm gonna do, let's get some. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna take another brush loaded with alcohol and just add it in here. It's sort of a watery consistency. That's pretty. All right, so we want to start filling in the center here. Um, I'm going to do some berries. And I'm going to put a pink color. Let's see if this is a good one. And oh, no, it's not really dark enough. Okay, so I'm gonna do some berries coming out here. They may get covered up at the top here, but that's okay. And then do a green stem. And I messed up there, but we can cover that up. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm going to take an acrylic pen. I'm just going to add a little highlight here. Make it look like the sun was on it. Now here, something like this happens and your background is really the way you want it. You can always do what I like to do when I frequently mess up. And I'm just going to take this and just like this. And it's gonna look like just flower has dropped off of the uh, bouquet and is dying. <laughs> I add a little alcohol to it. Help it with the spatula and we can come back and do something with that later if we need to. Okay, so now I am going to do, let's try a Fiesta. Pink. 
pink up in here and alcohol. I'm just gonna squirt this guy around a little bit. See if we can't get it to look a little bit like a peony. to do a, where's that? Okay, I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna have, <clears throat> another part come through here like this with flowers coming out there's no reason to achieve perfection here because this is all going to blend in but I want to have an idea of where I want my flowers Um, so I'm going to have flowers here, sorry this keeps moving, and little buds here. I'll show you what I'm going to do with these buds. I want these a little bit bigger I think. Okay, <clears throat> so with these buds, I'm gonna clean off this brush as best I can. And then I'm gonna put a little alcohol on it and then just touch this a little bit more. Touch these buds. You can see they kind of blend out. I'll just be adding more. You can add more green to this if you want. And then what I'm gonna do is take my ink in here and add it to these flowers. What I like about this brush too is you can roll it and it creates a little more definition to what I do. Is add more alcohol to the tip of that and just once again get a little contrast, make it a little more multi-dimensional.
Those are so pretty. I just love doing these. I should just do a whole bouquet of these one day. It just looks like spring. Okay, <clears throat> I like that. Um, not so crazy about these, but we can work on that later. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do a, just a, a nice wild plum here. Do a little, where did that go down? It's a little dots. Through here. some alcohol I think I need to do something else there I'm gonna add just go whole hog here For my flowers, I like to kind of do it, the alcohol in the center. And then you can always add <clears throat> to your centers with pen or markers or anything like that. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so now I think what we are gonna do is some alcohol on this edge here. I'm 
way bigger than I wanted, but And then what I'm going to do is just make a stem on that. do some stems and like a deep green I think for these Do some stamens coming out. The stamens are going to be different lengths, crossing over. And do one here too. And this is just um, Micron, and it's a 0 0.05. And then what I like to do is take a acrylic paint market marker and just add dots to the tips. And with this, it does not dry quickly like alcohol ink, so make sure you aren't gonna run your hand across any place that you mark because it will smear and it is permanent. Like that needs something. But I don't know what I want to do there. Let's see. My pens are all dried up. Okay, I'm just going to. these circles. I actually don't want them to be perfect. Okay, and now for the centers, let's just add some marks to define the very center of some of these flowers. I want to be careful of this.
make sure that you wipe off your markers pretty frequently because it does pick up a lot of the ink. Yeah, I got some nice green on that one, on that yellow one. So let me try another one. Okay, that's pretty. I don't know that I want to do anything. Maybe a little center on some of these. I'm gonna leave those alone, I think. Um, I just wanna do something here too. Maybe I'll just add. Nope, I'm gonna leave this the way it is. I don't want to mess with it right now. I may add some more of these over here because I really like the way those turned out. But I think that is actually, you know, a good start or finish even. You can add a little tie here if you want, which is what I like to do sometimes. But all in all, you know, just to have fun with these type of things. And when you make a mistake, just, you know, try your best to correct it. And um, alcohol ink can be kind of forgiving most of the time, but when you have backgrounds, it kind of um, can become difficult sometimes if you do drop something on it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Thanks for watching.